Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting video. I've been working on this video for quite a few days now and I'm so happy to finally have it presented for you guys. So I've never filmed a video like this. We're gonna do three looks with three different palettes. I've been telling you guys that this video was coming up today and I'm very excited that it's here. As soon as I saw that these palettes had launched on Ulta's website, I totally ran and picked them up and I was pretty impressed. Ulta did get these to me pretty fast. I think they are still in stock, I'm not sure. So I will go ahead and link these in my description box if you are planning on picking any of these up. Okay guys, so to summarize what I'm gonna cover in today's video, we're gonna do like my first impressions, thoughts, and show you guys some of the other novel palettes I own. Just kinda give you guys the 411 on the palettes. Then we're gonna go into swatch party so you guys can see all the eyeshadow swatch on my skin tone. And then finally, I will add the three different looks at the end. Those are gonna be voiceover, so if you guys wanna see those, I will try and remember to leave timestamps in the description box. So, as far as Nabla goes, these are the only other palettes I own from Nabla. Nabla's been one of those brands that my friend Angie has raved about forever and ever and ever. So when they came out with this guy, this is the one that really spoke to me. So this is the Dreamy 2 palette. I bought this because I was gonna review it on my channel. And of course I missed the boat by the time I got the palette. The whole hype with it kinda had slowed down a little bit, but I still plan on using this palette. So if you guys wanna see it, let me know. Now I do have the original Cutie palettes. These are so sweet. There's the Nude and the Coral. So I really like the Nude because the neutral gal in me just like, my heart just like gets really excited when I see this palette and a lot of people were wondering if these were comparable or you could like see any duplicate shades. So here is a quick little close-up of the nude compared to the platinum. These are side by side. So as you can see, maybe like a brown shade, but these have different formulas too. So I really like this guy and then I really like that they did a sleeve with the first ones because it keeps it closed. And then Alda had a heck of a time shipping these palettes to me. This particular one, they shipped me two, came broken both times, this one shade here. And to be honest, I haven't really used this one a whole lot. Now, the coral one, I think a lot of people were kind of comparing it to the new Metropolitan. So here they are side by side. I mean that coral shade does seem to be pretty close, but you know, probably don't need to buy both, <laughs> unlike me. But yeah, those are the palettes I own from Nabla originally. So you guys saw the Metropolitan, the Platinum, and then this is the one I have on my eyes today. This one is called Wild Berry, and I think this one is my favorite. I've only used these palettes once each, so take it all in with a grain of salt, but I just thought that you guys would appreciate my opinion on these palettes. So let's start with the one I used first, which was the Platinum. Now this is the one I thought I was gonna like the least, just cause I'm not really huge on silver eyeshadows, even in general, if you guys have been watching me for some time you would notice I don't really wear like silver jewelry I'm definitely more of a gold jewelry kind of gal and it's the same with eyeshadows I prefer my eyeshadows to be warm toned I just think it's the most flattering on my skin so when I had this palette on in my Instagram stories I was really surprised I got a lot of positive comments from you guys you thought this palette was really beautiful and I'll show you guys the eye look here soon but yeah this one color story wise was my least favorite and I feel like this is the one I'll reach for the least but I'm happy to have something like this in my collection and as far as like you guys in the comments I have seen so many people requesting cool tone palettes like that's all people seem to want from makeup companies these days is cool tone palettes and people get so disappointed when they see another warm tone palette come out so if you are a cool tone junkie or you're on the hunt for cool tones I feel like the platinum palette is gonna be your best bet now the next palette I tried was this guy this is the Metropolitan and again with this one, I did a halo eye, and you guys really like that look as well. I really enjoyed this shade, Nothing 
personal but it definitely on me it felt very much like a pigment i feel like to get it to really perform you really need to pack it and it didn't do as well as i wanted it to when i try to blend it so i feel like it would look prettier if it was more bang like i thought this was going to be more of a neon but it's it's more of a pink coral shade so just keep that in mind I also had a little bit of a struggle with the shade Anomaly. I was hoping for it to kind of glide on my eyes and it's a very crumbly shimmery formula so I feel like for a gold shade, you know, gold shades are a dime a dozen in a palette so if I'm gonna love something it really has to be exceptional and this gold really wasn't that exceptional to me so in my personal opinion this one is actually my least favorite as far as performance goes so I will definitely try and use these more before I rank them in my ranking video but that's just like my first impression least favorite palette of the three and then finally my favorite this is like save the best for last and I think this is the one a lot of people were interested in so this is wild berry and it has this beautiful duochrome called alchemy 2.0 and that is a shade on my lid today so this look is a cut crease and I will show you guys at the end I try to do the best I can with my makeup but let me know your opinions on the cut crease later these three matte shades I wore all three in the crease so I have botanica juice Venom and Blackberry all throughout my crease. I feel like this shade I was expecting more of a standout with this but Venom really took over as the main shade in the crease which I'm not really mad about. I really like the shade Venom. So the only shade in here that I didn't use was Incense which is like an orange shimmer right there. So yeah that is kind of my first impressions quick words on these palettes. I like these palettes. I don't know that I necessarily love all three of them equally. I think if I could go back and pick just one, I'd probably pick the Wild Berry palette and skip on the other two. Of course, you know, I like to review makeup, so I wanted to grab all three just so I could compare and contrast all three of them. So that's kind of my word on it. I like the price point. I like that it is 24 bucks, so it's not going to completely break the bank, and this packaging is really cute as well. I like that they chose like different packaging for them and then on the back too I just want to say it is an 18 month shelf life. They've got the cruelty free bunny on there and it says it's 100% vegan. There's also a credit for the artist on the palettes and it says it's an eyeshadow and pressed pigment palette made in Italy and total net weight is 7.5 grams or 0.26 ounces of product. So, okay, so I'm looking at the platinum. The platinum one says different so the net weight in the platinum is 7.7 .7 grams and then on the wild berry it's eight grams so I didn't realize that there is a slight difference in the contents of each of these palettes but that's kind of the skinny on those really quick first impression if you guys have any questions on the palettes if I missed anything definitely let me know down in the comments and I'd be happy to answer you guys' questions now let's move on to swatches okay guys I zoomed you in real close for swatches so let's go ahead and swatch my favorite one first this is wild berry now I haven't used this first shade so I'm curious to see what that's gonna be like oh and I didn't use bu bucolic babe I don't know what that is but I will show you guys here in a second so here are the swatches of wild berry we have incense venom bucolic baby and alchemy 2.0 and blackberry down here and then let me swatch the last shade which is called botanic juice so there's all six shades of the nabla wild berry palette there's two duochrome shades and then three mattes and then the top shade is like a shimmery satiny matte kind of shade so that is palette number one okay so next i'm gonna swatch the platinum palette and this one has two mattes and the rest are shimmers. So this is a very metallic palette. This kind of reminds me of that Jouer Skinny Dip palette. I never got that palette, but it's got a bunch of like shimmers, warm and cool tone, and this kind of gives me that vibe. If you guys have that palette, let me know what you guys think. So here are the six shades from the Platinum palette. We have Tenebra, 
Gem System, Rich Darlings, Priceless, Luxuriance, and Aristocracy. And let me show you guys again. So here is palette number two, I guess. I don't know. These don't really have numbers. I don't know why I'm saying numbers. So this is the Platinum palette. And last but certainly not least, we're going to swatch the Metropolitan palette. And this one seems like it also has two mattes and four shimmers. So... So there's the first shade, there's Alaska, sorry, I think Alaska is basically a white shimmer, but I have pink shadow left over, so I think it's pulling that. Look at that gold, oh my god, it's swatch like butter. I think that's definitely a shadow you want to use with your fingers. It performed a lot better once I used my finger because I was trying to use it with a brush. So you guys will see it in the eye look and it did not like that as much as it did when I pressed it in with my fingers. Here are the swatches from the Metropolitan palette. Did you guys get a nice close look at these? And hopefully that'll kind of give you guys an idea of what you can expect from these palettes. Okay guys, so that is everything for the swatch portion of this video. I hope you enjoyed the swatches. Now let's get into how I created three different looks with these three different palettes. And you guys, these are going to be voiceover, so I hope you enjoy them. Okay guys, so we're going to start off with the Platinum palette and I'm going to dip into the shade aristocracy which is a nice chocolatey brown transition shade and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that all over my crease next I'm gonna go into the shade Tenebra I think I'm saying that right it's the darker cool tone brown in the palette and we're gonna stick that in the outer corner and then blend it towards the inner corner of my crease So I'm keeping this eye look pretty simple. I am trying to decide which shimmer shade I want to use on my lids. So I'm going to go in to the shade Gem System, which is like a taupey, dark, silvery, gray shade that I'm going to put in the outer half of my lid. And then I'm going to pull in the shade Luxuriance, which is a very bright silver shade. I typically stay away from silvery shadows. I'm not a fan of wearing them on my lids. But for the sake of this eye look, I went ahead and popped that on the first half of my lid. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I did add a very dramatic wing liner to my lids just to glam the whole look up. And then as far as all my face makeup, I will remember to link it in the description box. Okay guys, for look number two, we are using the Metropolitan palette and I started filming this eyeshadow look and realized that my camera wasn't on so I had to wipe off the look on one eye just to recreate it for you guys. So we're going into the shade Nothing Personal which is a hot corally pink shade. This is beautiful and I blended this all over my crease. With this palette, I am creating a halo look which let me tell you, I don't do very often, and I thought it would be fun to do a variety of different looks with these three palettes, so here we go. Next, to create the halo eye, I'm adding the shade Lord in the inner corner, as well as the outer corner, and I'm using a smaller detail brush to blend that in to my crease. Okay, so for the final step, I added the shade Anomaly and I put that on the middle portion of my lid. Now, this is a very beautiful buttery shadow, but when I tried to put it on with the brush, it definitely did cause a bunch of fallout. So I decided to try and wet the brush. That didn't really do too much either. The best way to apply this particular formula, I think, was with my finger. As you can see at the end, I did tap it on with my finger, and then the gold shade really stood out. 
So here is the final look with the Metropolitan palette. I did my whole face as per usual and then on my lips is Faded Clementine by M Cosmetics. Okay, so for the final look with the final Nabla palette, this is the Wild Berry palette, and we are going to do a cut crease. Jesus take the wheel. So I'm going to start off with the shade Botanic Juice. It's a beautiful mid-tone rosy shade, and I'm going to focus that on the inner half of my crease. Next, I'm going to go into the shade Venom, which is a beautiful matte berry tone shade. And I wanted to use this on the outer half of my crease, but it is such a beautiful color and it really kind of overtook Botanic Juice. I really, really, really liked how this tone worked with my actual skin tone. So I did end up blending it in towards the inner corner of my eye as well. Next, to add some depth to the crease, I went into the shade Blackberry, which is a beautiful muted browny purple shade and I just stuck with the same brush and just tucked that into the outer crease okay guys here's where things get a little bit dicey I decided to do a cut crease with my P Louise base in the shade zero I guess I decided I needed to blend my crease a little bit more but after that I grab a flat brush and my white base and I start kind of tapping that on my goal wasn't really to cancel out the shade on my lids, but I did want to have a bit of a lighter base because I'm going to go into the shade Alchemy, which is like a beautiful duochrome, purpley, blue, burpley, delicious shade, and I wanted it to really pop on my lids, and I thought the best way to do that would be to lay down a little bit of a white base. I'm not trying to be super precise here, I'm just working on laying that down as best as I can so the shade stands out. Okay guys, so that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this format. Let me know your feedback down in my comment section. Really helps me out. I've never done a video like this, so I would love to know what you guys think because usually I feature one palette per video, so would love to know what you guys think. Thank you guys so, so much for 5K, and I will go ahead and link more eyeshadow palette videos here at the end so you guys can keep watching me, and I will see you tomorrow for a new Will I Buy video. Thanks, guys. Bye!